when it comes to making street tacos, you got plenty of choices. But one of my favorite is pulled pork. I'm telling you, this stuff's a bomb. I'd say our coals are ready to be dumped. And we're going to put it in the coals into this one side. Yeah, a little down there, that's fine. Then we're going to put a grate on. We're going to open this all the way up. So this is the pan we're going to cook our pulled pork on. I'm just going to put some EVOO down, a little bit of fat. Just gonna grab, and as the pulled pork heats up on this pan, it's gonna just kind of spread out, allow us to break it down a little bit further. All right, let's put this onto the Weber kettle. So that didn't take long at all for us to get up to 400 degrees. Now, we got our heat source over here, and we don't have heat over here, so this is called indirect cooking. And I'm gonna put the lid back on for about five minutes and see where we're at with our full <coughs> pork. Let's give this a five minute check. It's still cold. So I don't really expect too much at this point from it. All right, we'll check it out here probably in about 10 minutes. Well, the pulled pork's going to town. I'm just gonna go in there, slice it up a little bit, scoop it out. That doesn't have to be perfect. Now, I'm not making guacamole. Grandkids come by, say hi. All right, while that's happening, I'm gonna take some of these green onions, cut them up a little bit. Now, you don't have to use green onions. You can use yellow, red, purple, blue, whatever. Go for it, I don't care. I like green onions, especially on tacos. I don't know, just something about it. I'm gonna take some cilantro, give a nice little mash here. Awesome, put them right there. I mean, we got a smorgasbord right there, ready to go, right? Right, let's get back to our pulled pork. All right, the pulled pork looks good. As you can see, it's starting to fall apart. Love it. Put that over on this side, because it tends to be a little hotter over here. But we're getting a nice jumble of pulled pork. I mean, and it's getting warm too, which can't beat it. All right, I'll show you a few more minutes. All right, a few more minutes down. Pulled pork looks absolutely awesome, man. It's time for our shell. So I'm just gonna kind of run it through the oil that we had that we were cooking with, our pulled pork. Flip it over. We got two things going on here. All right, let's take this off. Looks awesome. Put that over. Rinse and repeat, baby. Rinse and repeat. Put another one on. There we go. Check this one out. Nice. All right, I think this one's done. We got our tortillas and the goodies that we made earlier. Let's build one. Look how just that pulled pork, just about perfect, right? I'm gonna take a couple slices of avocado. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up by hand, screw it. Put it on there. Take some onion, a little bit of cilantro. Now look, you've got pretty much a perfect taco right there, right? You, you into street tacos? You got it right there. For me, I like a little hot sauce on mine, so I'm just gonna use some Louisiana sauce. I know it's not Mexican, but that's all right. Let's try it. Spot on. Yeah. I mean, the flavors all just come together. Pretty good. The cilantro, the pulled pork, you know, you can't go wrong. Even the shell. A little bit of bite of that vinegar, too. So, I do have a vinegar sauce that I just made, and it's been marinating for a day. Now, I want to try it on this taco as well. Let's put the taco back together and pour just a dab. Now, this is an Eastern North Carolina vinegar, like a dipping sauce. But I want to see what it's like on a taco. And the vinegar for the dipping sauce, I mean, is made for pulled pork. <laughs> Holy crap. Totally adds a new dimension to that taco. This is the bomb. Street tacos, pulled pork. Talk to you on the next episode, guys. Peace. Damn.